Welcome back to Project Librochlip. In the last episodes I mainly drilled and cut and prepared pieces, but today I will actually start to assemble them. Somewhere in the internet, I think it was the YouTube channel of John Heath, I found the design for these corner clamps. Together with these wedges that go in here, one can nicely clamp 50mm plywood for assembly. I recommend you to create some of these for your projects because they are super handy for whatever you're planning to do with plywood. The book holder, the connector plate, the prepared back plate, the right outer vertical piece, one side piece, and the other side piece, which is actually missing a cutout. This is the base plate of the machine, and two stiffener pieces. These are all the parts except the parts for the suction box. The right side piece has a cutout here, which I forgot to cut out earlier. This is for the cables to go through from the electronics box to the main area for the book turning. Done! Ready for mounting. I want to start with the back plate. This is the back plate and this is the base plate. And this is the lower side of the base plate, so let's turn this one around. These are the holes for the vertical rods and as you can see I goofed up on these and have drilled them twice and the second time was in the right position. In the end it'll look like this. So this edge is flush and here is still space for the other outer piece. The basic structure of the machine is assembled by 4x40 screws. I have prepared a 2.5mm drill for pre-drilling and a PZ2 bit for screwing. Okay, just for orientation, this is the lower side of the machine. This is the surface it stands on. And this is the back plate of the machine. And the next step is to grab some screws and mark where the holes for pre-drilling go. Let's take them out again. Great! First two parts are assembled. Let's continue with this left outer side piece. And it goes in like here. It starts to look like what I've drawn. The other side piece goes here, attached through these holes. To determine the exact distance, I only have the outside measurement from the plans, which is 540 millimeters. If I subtract 2 times 15, I end up with 510 millimeters. So let's mark 510 on here. One more piece attached. The next part I want to attach is this piece, which goes here on top. It has two holes here and here for the vertical rods that run through here. And it sits in these notches to provide a bit more stiffness in this direction. This part gets attached from two sides, from this side and from the top. It's rather important that it first gets fitted here and only after that here, because it might cause this whole plate to bend this way. 
So first attach it here and then attach it here. Let's start the electronic housing. It's rather important that the next part to be attached is this small part here at the front. Because if we wouldn't do it this way, then it would be harder to fit the last part on the outside here. I'm just trying to make these edges flush. Cool, mounted. And now the right outer side piece. This one, it goes here. Again, I'm trying to make always the visible edge flush. Let's use an edge clamp to pull this edge together for drilling and screwing. Okay, these four remain. Cool! That's electronics bay. This small plate with just three holes goes on top of here. And you can see that here's a tiny notch. This sticks out a bit higher than this surface. And this has a purpose. This difference is the thickness of the a wooden plate that goes on here that holds the touchscreen. So let's put this one on as well. And here I strongly recommend to start with this screw. To get this hole pre-drill you need to angle the drill bit a tiny bit, which is why I recommend to do this last. And the last two screws of this part are here and there. The very last part of this episode is this top part. And I want the logo to be engraved here. Luckily, recently I finished the CNC mill called CNNC, which I want to use to engrave the logo in this piece. So let's mount the part. That is zero. is finished. Thanks for watching. Next up is the episode where I will assemble and mount the touchscreen.